my name is Justin Harper. I'm a musician and educator in Shelby, North Carolina, here at the Earl Scruggs Center presenting our first episode of Musical Explorations, a program made possible by the Dover Foundation. Today, in celebration of Black History Month, we are going to talk about the music of Africa and its influence on American music. Africa is an incredibly diverse country. We must be mindful that over 3,000 unique ethnic groups comprise this beautiful country. The task of identifying one sound that epitomizes Africa is difficult. In fact, Africa's sound is the integration of rhythm, dance, and voice. African rhythm uses a variety of percussion and melodic instruments. Just to name a few are the kalimba, or mabira, known as the thumb piano, the shege, or maracas, the marimba, balafon, and other xylophone-related instruments, the ekwe, also known as the tongue drum, or the slit drum, the world-famous goblet-shaped drum, the djembe, and finally, the stringed instruments made from gourds and tightened animal skins called the kora and akonti are most closely related to the instrument that is most esteemed here at the Earl Scrugg Center, the banjo. The range of African music varies from complex, driving rhythms of drumming, singing, and dancing to the intimate solo voice accompanied by the oud, a fretless lute that is actually the predecessor to our modern day guitar. We must understand that the music of Africa is not reserved for the elite or the affluent. It is an activity shared by the entire community. Music is the core of African celebration, fellowship, and community gatherings. It is engaged by the entire community in song, dance, and instruments. While music may be the background to our American soundtrack, it is the forefront of African culture and used in festivals, weddings, funerals, coming of age events, and more. The nature of African music is improvisational. Improvisation is the act of creating something from the knowledge or experience that one already possesses. Not only is African music improvisational, but the dance as well as the composition of the instruments are unique to both the individuals who use them and the diverse subgroups of the continent. The musical term polyrhythm describes multiple rhythms played at the same time, which create a more complex sonic effect. Polyrhythm is centric to the African sound. The combinations of these multiple rhythms create an entrancing effect. And there is a nature of rhythm that seems to translate into modern day sampling and the repeating of a beat found in modern electronic and hip-hop music. The influence of westernization is apparent in modern African music, as that is the case for many cultures around the world. The African influence is perhaps most apparent in vocal music over the last century, especially in American pop music. Imagine all the magnificent African-American voices we have been blessed with hearing. Many of these voices share a performance technique that is still found in vocal music from Africa today. A common trait of African vocalists is a strong, powerful, rich vocal technique. Additionally, the use of call and response, or leader and chorus, as well as thick harmonic textures reveal the origins of our modern-day African-American gospel music. Furthermore, there are intriguing vocal sound effects that make African music even more interesting. Many African songs are the vehicle for storytelling. A West African griot is more than just a musician. The griot serves as the oral historian, song leader, poet, and also community leader. To get an idea of African vocal music, listen to the song Muimwe by African songwriter Solomon Linda, which is the original version that white American pop groups appropriated in the mid-20th century that many of us came to know as The Lion Sleeps Tonight. There's a great documentary on Netflix which goes into further detail. 
African instruments and vocal techniques have spread across the entire globe as the unique African identities of its people were spread through various diasporas over the last four centuries. African music had a great influence on much of the music in Caribbean cultures as well as North and South America, especially with regards to the beat of blues, rock, soul, gospel, R&B, rap, hip-hop, Latin American, Afro-Cuban, and reggae-inspired music. All of these musical styles form a conglomerate of the sound that we are so familiar with in modern American music. Without the influence of Africa, our modern American music would just not be the same. Thank you for joining me today for our first episode of Musical Explorations. And please follow the Earl Scruggs Center so that you may see future episodes.